what's up youtube make sure you subscribe to my channel make sure you hit that like button and make sure you mash that notification bell so uh you can get my videos when they first drop that's very important and make sure you share my videos so that everybody can uh, get this good content now i came across some disturbing uh news probably a couple of hours ago and uh it was via the internet on ig from uh it came from it came from uh the gossip of the city if you're not uh, familiar or aware who that is, you can go on IG, look it up, you know. But uh, what I'm talking about is about uh, what Gossip of the City had posted. Now, according to Gossip of the City, you know, they have a, a recording. They have audio, an audio recording of WAC 100. Uh, stating some foul shit, you know, just speaking real ill and speaking real, real reckless towards uh, Nipsey. And uh, that shit didn't sit well with me. It didn't sit well with a lot of people. And uh, I'm going to read that shit right now. I'm going to read that shit to y'all so y'all know exactly what it say. If you don't know, like I said, you can go to the uh, Gossip of the City page and check it out or whatever, you know. But uh, what it is... It says, uh, it says, uh, I won't post the audio just yet, but Wack blames Nipsey's death on Nipsey. Wack says Nipsey wasn't no street nigga, and the real street nigga is shitty cuz who killed Nip. Wack says Nipsey should have never been outside and stayed in a rapper's lane because that's all he was. Wack claims Nipsey wasn't about that life and thought his name would keep him alive. Wax says, when Nipsey told shitty cuz he heard he was snitching, Nipsey was supposed to handle that right there, but he didn't. Wax also points out that if Nipsey was so gangster like he claimed, then why he let shitty cuz go back and get the guns, which led to his death. Wax says he don't care about no Nipsey hustle, and no one didn't even listen to Nipsey, nor did the radio ever play Nipsey songs. Wack also said that it's Faith Evans who owns the word prolific, not Nipsey. Wack says Nipsey hustled to death was by his own homies, and he don't get why everyone's so concerned. Wack also said Nipsey hustles homies are scared to pull up on him because ain't no one pulled up yet. And uh, that was the end of it. And uh, you know, according to the uh, you know the uh, the IG page. The audio is two minutes and 13 seconds long. And they said that they'll post it, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll post it uh, real soon. So I know everybody going to be waiting to listen to that, you know. It's called Gossip of the City. Anyway, I just wanted to reiterate and, you know, go over that, point out a few things. First of all, first and foremost... You know, if this is true, which I don't believe they had no reason to lie, you know, Wack 100 is a straight bitch. This is straight Mark shit. He's a dick sucking bitch for even saying some shit like this. Straight up. Straight up. Nipsey, off tops, Nipsey's songs was on the radio. They may have not been played in heavy rotation like a lot of other people's songs was but his songs was on the radio station in a lot of other cities in a lot of other cities across the united states and another thing is this another thing is this whack 100 aka nutsack 100 is a hater he's a big hater how you gonna sit up there how you gonna sit up there and disrespect nipsey like that all because of who he was see the man been gone since march 31st and people still hating because his name is ringing seven months later almost eight months later his name is still ringing in the streets still ringing in the music industry still ringing in the entertainment industry and it's people that's been pushing hard and their names not ringing like that he look on social media and he see everybody posting pics of nipsey and he wonder why Ain't nobody posting pics of him. He wondering why, you know, he got the whack-ass artist Blueface 
uh, 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 Blue, man, Blueface is whack, straight up, just like his manager's name. He whack. He a fake crip. He not a real crip, and and he perpetrating. And he mad. He jealous. All this stem, all this stem from jealousy, straight up. It all stemmed from jealousy. But I wanted to point out some other things, too. He talking about why, Nip, why Nipsey allowed shitty cuz to go get guns and come back to kill him. How the fuck would he know that shitty cuz was going to get some guns and coming back to kill him? How the hell would he know that? How the fuck would he even know that? If he knew that, common sense would tell you the man is intelligent he wouldn't have stood there and allowed the man to shoot him you dumbass motherfucker straight up people say some of the dumbest shit and then then he went further to say that uh nipsey wasn't a street dude you know what i'm saying he wasn't a, he wasn't a street nigga you know and shitty and shitty cuz was you know basically basically he just he just he just shit it all the way on Nipsey. And that this shit ain't sitting well with me. It don't sit well with nobody else. It's not sitting well at all. He talking about uh if Nipsey was so gangster like he claimed, then why he let shitty cuz go back and get the guns which led to his death. So that means you're not gangster because you didn't know somebody was going to get some guns to come back and kill you. That's the stupidest shit I ever heard. The stupidest shit. Then he talking about didn't nobody even listen to Nipsey. Then he talking about the word prolific, which lets me know that he was pissed off and mad about yesterday when people was going in on Game. Yeah, Game is his artist. He's, he's the Game's manager. So he mad about that. If he wasn't mad, he wouldn't even threw that up in there and said anything about that. Okay. Okay, uh, supposedly or allegedly or whatever, Faith, Evan, uh, Faith Evans owns the prolific word or whatever. She trademarked it. I don't know. I haven't researched that. And I'm, to be honest with you, I'm not even finna waste no time and even uh, research it. All I know is it was made famous by Nipsey. And I know that uh, the game didn't use that. He didn't use the word prolific because of Faith Evans. He didn't tattoo it on his body because of Faith Evans. He did it because of Nipsey. So this is why Wack 100, Wack Ass, said what he said. See, these dudes is jealous of Nipsey. That's crazy. Man died on March 31st, and here it is. Uh, what is this? We almost in November, and motherfuckers is still hating. October 18th, and motherfuckers is still hating. They hating on Nipsey. His name is ringing that, that much. These men got so much hatred in their heart. Whack 100, the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's sneaky. He's sneaky, and he got busted. Yeah. And guess what? Guess what? The big three. The three amigos. Big U, Whack 100, and the game. They all fuck with each other. Yeah, I can't trust nobody who fuck with Big U, straight up. Can't trust the game now. Definitely can't trust uh, WAC 100, especially especially after uh, saying what he said right now, you know. And then he talking about, uh, then he talking about Nipsey Hussle's homies is scared to pull up on him because ain't no one pulled up on him yet. Man, look, everything is calculated, you know. If somebody want to pull up on you, somebody will pull up on you. If don't nobody want to pull up on you, don't nobody want to pull up on you. Nobody, to be honest, nobody. Why would you even say some shit like that, first of all? Nobody ain't pulled up on you because nobody has a reason to pull up on you until now for disrespecting their homeboy, Nipsey. See, before that, a motherfucker would have looked at you as okay that's whack 100 you know what i'm saying but that's real fucking suspect that's suspect peoples listen to what i'm saying why would you say ain't no one pulled up yet why would somebody pull up on somebody if they never had a reason are you implicating yourself in something are you saying that you know something ain't nobody pulled up on you 
Are you taunting people? Because don't get it twisted. I'm pretty sure there's some motherfuckers out there that'll pull up on your ass. For real. Yeah, but, yeah, look into that. Look into that. That's a real fishy suspect uh, uh, statement right there. Ain't no one pulled up yet. Talking about his homies is scared and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Then talking about he don't know why everybody's so concerned. No radio play. You know what I'm saying? Talking about Nipsey was supposed to handle that right there, but he didn't. You know? Talking about Nipsey wasn't about that life. He got his own self killed. He just shitted on Nipsey in so many in so many ways. Talk reckless about the man. That's foul and disrespectful. That's some real buster shit. That's some hook shit, and that shit shouldn't even be fucking tolerated. For real. Now, if this is all true, and like I said, I don't believe, I don't believe that, you know, they would make up this and say that it's, uh, 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 say that it's true when it's not. I believe that it's true, you know. I believe Gossip of the City is telling the truth. They said they got the audio, the two-minute audio. Now, now, by me making this video, the world gonna wanna see. I mean, the world gonna wanna listen and hear that video straight up. Because I'm telling you right now, if WAC 100 said all this, he's a foul motherfucker. But if he didn't say all this, and it ain't true, then hey, you know what I'm saying? That's what it is. But if so, if so, like I said, He's super foul. He's super duper foul. And look, check this out, peoples. Check this out, peoples. He talking about Nipsey wasn't about that life. If he wasn't about that life, then why is everybody so motherfucking upset and mad at the man? Why is everybody hating on him? Why is everybody on his nuts why do the world love him why do so many women love him and respect him if he wasn't about that life he was about that life full circle straight up but look here I want y'all to subscribe especially if you're new to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button Make sure that you hit that like button and that notification bell so you can get my videos when they drop. And y'all must share. Y'all must share these videos. You know, when I drop these videos, y'all must share these videos. And do let me know how y'all feel in the comments below about this. I already know how y'all feel towards WAC 100. I already know how you feel towards game. Some of y'all still love game, and that's cool. You know, can't nobody tell you how to feel about the next person. That's your own choice. You know, I already know how y'all feel about everybody. But uh, like I said, you know, let me know how y'all feel. Make sure y'all share these videos. And peace.